cash assistance program to help those in need. It may be more trouble than it's worth. Many Georgians telling Atlanta News First the $350 cards they got, well, they still don't work. Atlanta News First reporter Adam Murphy, he's live in downtown Atlanta. Um, we're trying to sort out this mess. What's going on, Adam? Well, good evening. I'll tell you, more than three months after Governor Kemp located in the state capitol building you see right there, dedicated more than one billion dollars to the State Department of Human Services located in that tall building, and people, Georgians, are still not able to use the $350 assistance cards. It has been a rough road for David Snyder ever since he received two cash assistance cards like these from the State Department of Human Services. If you're saying you're going to help, don't put so many road bumps and speed bumps in that are going to make it really difficult. After receiving two cards, he said he was not able to locate the client ID on the paperwork in order to access the $700 in funds he was promised. I got so frustrated, I just threw the cards in a drawer and said, forget about it. I didn't have it before. I guess I'm not going to have it now. Since the program was launched in September, there have been numerous glitches in the program. And as a result, more than $300 million has not yet been claimed. I tried the phone call. That's another quagmire. You turn around and you can't even find any human being to answer a telephone. Prompt after prompt after prompt, and it always comes down to the bottom line, your client ID number. I don't have one. DHS told Atlanta News First they are experiencing a high call volume and they are working as quickly as possible to resolve client ID and other card specific issues. And it's really a shame that what starts out as doing something good turns out to be such a minefield that you can't possibly find an answer. And there's no human being who you can talk to. And back out here live outside DHS, a spokesperson told me they are working as quickly as possible to assist everyone. I will post helpful information on our website as that becomes available. I do have one update to share with you. David Snyder, the gentleman you saw there in the story, he called me moments ago to tell me he got a call from DHS and they activated both of his cards after we brought it to their attention. We'll stay on top of this one for you. We're live in downtown Atlanta, Adam Murphy. Atlanta News First. All right, some good news there. Thanks very much, Adam. Having a